Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Holy with Touch of the Master's Hand Holy Spirit Ministry. Sorry, couldn't get that out. Anyhow, I want to take the talk today about God's healing grace, power, however you want to say it. There's all kinds of awesome scriptures. I'm going to give you a scripture that I like. Um, and then I'm going to kind of tell you about the healing that, and what God showed me and what's going on in my life a little bit. But anyhow, here we go. Philippians 4. 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. For be anxious in not for nothing, but in every but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. You know, my wife and I went out to San Diego to visit our kids on, on our 30th anniversary. Kind of a pleasure trip, but at the same time, the Lord was dealing with me about it was going to be a mission trip. Pretty cool, really. Kind of combination fun, plus fun with God. Good things. You know, so I'll direct our path, direct our steps. So, anyhow, we get out there. Some awesome things happened. One day, the Lord told me to go down to this bench that's right on the beach. One of my kids was like, really almost exactly on the beach you know real close like not even a half block away so i walked down to this bench there was like six eight ten different benches kind of on the longest path and so i was like well lord which one am i gonna sit on so he directed me to one bench in particular sat on there read my bible brought a copy of this book which i'm gonna tell you about in a second Sat there for about, I was there for about 30 minutes. And I was like, well, Lord, do you just want me to, to pray, to read? Um, you know, send somebody in my way, you know? Or am I being kind of, you know, selfish and want to be about me or what I can do or prayer? I said, just, you know, why am I here, God? I just, I want to be used by you. I want to be that vessel for a creator you created for your honor. That's just kind of who I am. Send somebody in my way. So, this crazy guy comes by, literally crazy. He starts talking to this lady's dog and wouldn't even talk to her. And then she walks off, kind of shaking her head. And he rants and raves about how, you know, people won't listen to him, but dogs will. And just crazy kind of stuff. So I said, well, what about Jesus, you know? I kept trying to interject the Lord into him. Oh, just... Finally, he wandered off and I was like, well, Lord... I really didn't help that man. I didn't deliver him. I just, you know, didn't really get a chance to minister much to him. It just didn't seem like a breakthrough. So what am I doing here, God? So I left there for a little bit longer, and maybe 20, 30 minutes went by, and all of a sudden this guy. I look at this. There's like a group of a man and a lady and a guy, and they're, you know, 50 feet from me or so, you know, quite a little bit of ways away, but in the back, you know, behind me, and I kind of saw him out of the corner of my eye, and he walks over to me and walks in front of the bench, and you're a man of God, absolutely, you know, so we get to talking and ministering to him, they're from, you know, Maryland, uh, the guy's with had uh, some heart issues, had had, tra they had, they had not transplant, but uh, just a lot of medical problems, and had to have an operation out there, and it was just, they were in the midst of a pretty, pretty, pretty strong trial, all three of them. So, ministered to him for a while, we kind of stayed in contact, long story short, awesome, kept a copy of the book, and it really stirred him. So, Got a chance to minister to a lot of different people. God opened the door, we prayed in San Diego. We just A lot of things in the spiritual realm broke in different people's lives. Awesome. Get back into town. Went even back 30 minutes. I'm unloading my uh, toiletries. This is the healing miracle. So it's transpiring. So it's still in the process. So unload my toiletries well there's a stuff we put in our in our water it's an alkaline drop and it's your eye is like ph 70.5 and this is like 13. so i thought it was my eye drops because it looked like it the bottle kind of did resembled it some wasn't really paying attention stuck it in my eye it instantly 
burned my eyes shut. I mean, burned it. Al my wife studied on Google. Alkaline is one of the worst things you can do because acid will seal, kind of seal your skin, and that's kind of all it does. It just kind of just burns and then going deeper. Alkaline will keep going and going and going and going and going deeper. Flushed it out a lot. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to go to the emergency room, blah, blah, blah. My wife's like, oh, no, your whole eye's white. We're going. Go to the emergency room. They start flushing. They send me by ambulance to a Parkland trauma. You know, I live in Dallas. Because they don't have a lot of optometrists on staff at a lot of hospitals. And then they had me see a couple specialists, and then they had me go see another specialist. And kind of, you know, it's real serious. But good news mixed in with bad news. But you know, I'm believing God for a, for a miracle. I, you know, couldn't see colors. I saw men look like trees, like in the Bible. Couldn't make out things. You know, my left eye hurt like heck. You know, I'm like, okay, God. So the next day, the Lord speaks to me and he says, the things that the enemy is using in your life for destruction, I'm going to take from him and use it as instruction and give you power and authority to trample on serpents. I'm like, okay, wow, great, great, God. This was Tuesday. It's Friday. 80, 85 percent better. I can see colors now. I can kind of read stuff a little bit. It's not nearly as blurry. It's still blurry. It still hurts. I have to put drops in every couple hours. All kinds of crazy crap. I got to go back to another specialist again. Same one I went to yesterday. Uh, he's not talking real good, but not real bad. And, you know, but I know God's going to heal it. I just know He is. I'm not even concerned about it, not even anxious about it, because I know God's got it in His hands. You know, He's done other healing in my life. I don't know where you're at. A lot of people need healing. Different, various different things. And there's a problem, and I'm not going to be too gross about it, but there was a problem I had in the past, and it's been healed for the last six months, but I had really bad diarrhea issues. I couldn't even leave the house in the morning time unless I took three emodiums. Literally. It was bad. And then I felt like I had to use the restroom all day long. It was just, you know, anxious, I guess, maybe even fearful, just crazy. You know, it's just a constant bombardment of the enemy. So, but God's healing power is awesome. And there's been other things in my life that he has healed and some that he hasn't. So, I'm not really that concerned about it. Because God told me he's going to heal it. Because I'm a seer, and I see in the spiritual realm, and that's... The book that the Lord inspired me to write is called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. I'll send you a free copy of the book, no strings attached. Email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com. I'm going to send you a bunch of junk mail. I won't even probably ever reuse your email. I'm not going to ask for an offering. I'm not going to ask, send you anything but the book. Free. It's just an insight into the spiritual realm. And that, I, when I was in San Diego, I gave a copy to these, to these people that were in the midst of this trial copy of the book, ministered to him for over an hour, bought him lunch, got him out of the heat. Now, they're all fired up. That's all, that's all what this is about. As Christians, we're supposed to encourage one another, uplift each other, edify the spirit of, spirit of the Lord. I don't know where your journey is at today. But it's all about building up each other to serve Jesus, to be full of Him, full of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Look at some of my other videos, please. Share them with other people. Uh, comment on them. God's healing grace, power. You know, you may need it. I'm not in it for the miracles. Honestly, I'm not. Do or don't. I'm not. God does or doesn't. I just know who He is. And I'm going to stand on that. And have faith. I like the scripture. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. I like leading out on your understanding, trusting the Lord with light heart. You know, sometimes we can get in the way. So, anyhow, I know God's going to heal it. Awesome. God's just awesome. I just love Him. Appreciate y'all tuning in and listening. Sorry, it's a little bit long and lengthy. God's healing power. Email me if you want to at youngstrom, steve at gmail.com, steve youngstrom, 
at yahoo.com. Get a copy of the free book. I took me... The visions happened over a period of about a year. And it took me almost another year to get all the scriptures. I just studied and studied and studied to find scriptures because one of my messages on, on here is who's your source? You know, I'm going to go with Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit. So, pray about it. Ask them if you're supposed to get the book. Fine, great, awesome. It's just a tool. It's just a gift that the Lord gave me. Some of y'all may have a healing gift. Some of y'all have gifts of hospitality. Some of y'all may be in the church to be part of the financial blessing to them. You know, you may have a good business job. I don't know. We all have gifts and callings. That's the body of Christ fitly framed together. Y'all do that are listening to this or you wouldn't be tuning in. Jesus is awesome. So use the gifts and callings that God's given you for wherever purposes that they may be. Pray, seek God. He's going to give you the answers. He's going to go to the Word, you know. Just please look at some of my other videos. Not because of me. I'm just a vessel. I just want to encourage others to get closer to Jesus. That's my main goal. Get closer to Jesus. So anyhow, love you guys. Appreciate y'all tuning in. You can probably see my left yeah, that's my left eye. You can probably see my left eye. A little bit rough looking. Like I said, God's in the heal healing business. It hurts. Put in muscle relaxing, steroids, kinds of drops that the doctors gave me. Like I said, it's 80%, maybe even 90% better. It was horrible looking. My wife, my, the blue in my eye was all white. My wife said it looked like zombies or something, you know, dead person or something. Um... God, because what he told me, and so I'm looking for his instruction and what to do with this. It's going to be a testimony, a miracle. You know, my wife put on Facebook. My wife loves to do that stuff. I didn't really like that, seeing me laying up in the hospital bed. But you know, over 100 people at our church commented and prayed about it, called. Some people wanted to come by. Different ministers did. It's awesome. The body fitly framed together. But God's got a healing grace and power in my life and yours too some people have chronic diseases that they've had for years god is in the restoration business that's the hour we're in there's a you know joel 2 16 the first part of it talks about restoration the years of the canker worm and locusts have stolen then it talks about the latter rain which is refreshing the holy spirit being poured out god's anointing that we can have power to go out into this world and tread upon serpents and preach the gospel and do the things, whatever whatever God tells you to do. Awesome. He's going to direct your path. But anyhow, I'm not trying to mix all these messages together and sorry, this is kind of lengthy and, you know, I just... Healing. Awesome. Victory. I'm not going to be anxious in this. Nothing. Could have been really bad. I could be blind in one eye. You know? stupidity it was my own ignorance just grabbing a bottle my wife you know been on me for two or three days about it you know she's angry even you know and i don't blame her because it just the medicine alone was 300 bucks and then the doctor bills and that and you know it's like unnecessary but god's gonna work something great out of it in my life maybe it's for your life too now, anyhow, we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Tune in to my other, share this video with others or some of my other videos. When you get the word out, get a copy, a free copy of the book. It's, you know, I'm no different than y'all. Just, God just deals with me in visions. Other people have visions. Maybe you're having visions. Maybe it'll encourage you. Maybe you're having dreams. It's free. I don't want anything for it. I'm not asking for you to pay for the book or an offering or anything. I won't ever do that, you know. I'm just uh, not there yet. So, and like I said, I'm not going to abuse your, your your address at any type, way, shape, or form. You'll get a copy of the book. That's what I'll send you. So, anyhow, appreciate y'all. God bless you. Um, have an awesome day. Talk to you real soon. Hope you tune in to most of this video. It is kind of long, 15 minutes. Sorry about that. God's healing hand is healing power. It's in my life. No, it's in yours. You may have already healed you for some stuff. My wife is going to come on here pretty soon. She was healed of bipolar. 
from 15 to 54. I know she was healed because I put her in three different hospitals, one of them for 45 days. And when you get there, they lock them up. And there was a time where a week went by and they didn't even let me talk to her. I don't know if you're beating your wife or if you're the problem or if you're abusive or physically, verbally. They're trying to work on that person. So I would know if she wasn't healed because of the heaviness of the symptoms and the things that happened and transpired in her life. And God healed her of that. So God is a healer, awesome healer. I'm going to let, you know, I've been telling her to put her testimony on here and so she's going to soon. So anyhow, God bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. Look for God's healing if you need it in your life. awesome jesus is awesome but anyhow please watch some of my other videos thanks sharing with others comment on my youtube channel thanks we love you guys god bless you see you all soon